Dipstick Reader Quick Sawyer Allergen Management Surface Swap. The video shows you how to use the Reader Quick Sawyer dipstick for analysis of surfaces and food samples. The test kit contains all material needed for the analysis of 25 surface swaps. It is recommended to use the accessory kit. Before starting, make sure that surfaces and equipment are free from soy. Use an aqueous detergent to wipe surfaces and to rinse vessels. To a 2 ml vial at 750 microliters buffer. For each swap, one vial is needed. The swap is dipped into the buffer vial. Then swap the surface while rotating the swap head in a crosshatch or zigzag pattern. A second swap is taken from the inside of a blender. Next, the upper end of the stick is broken. Then insert the closed vials into a floating rack. Green is the surface swap and red is the blender swap. Insert the floating rack into boiling water. Incubate for 5 minutes. The vials are cooled down to 25 degrees centigrade. Then 5 drops of each conjugate are added to new 5 milliliter tubes. Next, 150 microliters of the swap samples are pipetted to the 5 milliliter tubes and incubated for 5 minutes. Use gloves while placing the dipstick vertically with the arrow end into the test tube. Incubate the strips for 5 minutes. Take out the strips exactly after 5 minutes and read the result immediately. The first dipstick is the swap from the surface of the lab bench. Only the red control band is visible. The result is clearly negative. The second dipstick is the swap from the blender. It shows both red lines. The result is positive. The blender needs further cleaning. The evaluation card helps to read results. Message: Avoid any contamination. Clean vessels in the laboratory thoroughly. Therefore, separate rooms for extraction and test procedures should be used. The accessory kit contains additional equipment, like a floating rack. It is recommended to also run check samples, for example R7132, the set of three processed soya assay controls with known concentrations for quality control. Make sure that the samples are boiled at 100 degrees centigrade for 5 minutes. If you are interested, further videos are available. Thank you for your time.